to Wild Horse Children's Theater's Where Are They Now? Quarantine Edition. This is Carol Scott, <laughs> Executive Director of Wild Horse Productions and Wild Horse Children's Theater. And with me today is Hannah Anthony. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hi Carol. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing so good. How are you? Good. Oh, it's been so long since we talked, and I think we were just talking about five years since we've seen you. Yeah, pretty close to five years. Okay, and so where are you um, quarantining? Are you quarantining in the place that you live? Yeah, so I actually am considered essential at my job, so quarantining as much as I can, but I am quarantining in Reno with my boyfriend. We live together here, so awesome. we're just trying to stay as safe as possible. We're both essential, so. That's good. Well, it's good that you're essential, but not good that you're out in the yeah. universe <laughs> I I was right home. now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really good to see you after all these years. You are one of our amazing stars in a lot of our shows. Um, do you remember what your first show was with Wild Horse and your last show? So my first show with, with Wild Horse was actually when it was still back to Backstage Kids, and that was Annie Jr., um, in 2001, I was six years old. <laughs> so, <Wow. laughs> and then my first one with Wild Horse um, was Frog and Toad. And I was probably like 11 or 10. Um, and then my last show was Beauty and the Beast uh, when I was a senior in high school. Beautiful show. And you were Mrs. Potts. I was. <laughs> and a beautiful <laughs> Mrs. Potts you were. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you have a crazy or funny story that would have happened to you on stage or backstage that you'd like to share? Yeah, so I was actually thinking about this, and um, I remember, I think it was Babes in Toyland. I was one of the stage managers, and we were backstage, and it was actually Friday the 13th. I remember this so vividly, because I actually, <laughs> it was Friday the 13th, and the power went out, and all the mics went out, and the sound went out and it was just chaotic and I'm just running around trying to be like, it's okay, but everyone's freaking out. No one's taking anything seriously because they're all like kids, obviously. So power going out was just a big chaotic mess, but luckily all the kids went on stage in the dark, sang their song because it was the finale too. So they finished everything strong, thankfully. <laughs> I totally remember that, and I think Robin and I were sitting up in the, the bleach receipts, and we were yes. actually crying because it was so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, uh, they went out here pitch black. <laughs> yeah, it's what we teach you, you know, the show must go on yeah. no matter what, and that Absolutely. was a great thing, and I think we had a live piano player in that show, yeah. and, the, and the piano, it was electric piano, and that piano went out. Went out, and, Yeah. Yeah, that was an amazing We're just pushing thing. kids on stage. We're like, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> so you were actually teching backstage then on that show? Yes. Yeah, so that show I was yeah, one of the stage managers, I think. Great. I love how our, um, our older kids get so well-rounded because if we're doing <laughs> the younger show for the uh, 5 to 14-year-olds, all of our high school students kind of jump in and do tech for that show too, which is which absolutely. Is <laughs> so tell us what you're doing now. Well, I work in business development. So I'm one of the like internet salespeople at a car dealership. So I work here at Champion Chevrolet in Reno. That's awesome. Um, can yeah. you tell us why you did not go into performing arts as a career? A lot of our uh, kids do. And then I've talked to 15 other people and they have chosen other careers also. And you were always a beautiful actor and a beautiful singer. So why did you decide not to go into it? Well, you know, originally I did start going into it. That's what I went to college for uh, the first two years. And then I just decided like, tired of waiting. I just want to have a career and start making money originally. And theater is always something that's, it's in my heart. It's in my soul. I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. I eventually know I want to open up a children's theater because moving to Reno, I found out that there isn't very much theater, especially for kids, yeah. especially for me, for as an adult. Like, I still want to do theater. I just can't drive to Carson every right. other day. So it's just not reasonable. But it's definitely something that's it's on my mind every day. It's that's something great. I'm going to continue to do. That's great. We can always use more people doing children's theater. That's for sure. There's yeah. lots of kids out there that want to do it. We had 150 yeah. kids audition for Frozen Junior, so 
Oh, I bet. I'm surprised it wasn't three million. You know, Frozen they're out Junior. There, you know. Um, do you yes. have a dream role that you would like to do? You got. You let me do my dream role, which was Tracy in Hairspray. Um, you know, it, it's always been my dream role since I was a little kid. We watched Hairspray like when it came out on on movie. And I remember just thinking, that girl looks like me. Like, I want to be that girl. Because I'm never going to be a Disney princess. But I'm definitely going to be Tracy Turnblad. <laughs> you were amazing in that show. It was one of our, our most favorite shows. Uh, we, my favorite. I, I think about it all the time. <laughs> I interviewed um, Henry this past week. Yeah. And he jogged my memory because he was your mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was. <laughs> and the those pictures are wonderful, and I when I see those They're pictures hilarious. That you show, in the sparkly, pink sparkly outfits, it just made my day. I'm just having such oh. a blast looking at all these photos from the past. It's just great. Yeah. Uh, great. Well, I'm glad we gave you your dream role, and I'm glad we did hair. Yes, yeah. we did. Um, do you have a song you would like to share with us? Because we haven't heard you sing in so long. <laughs> I know. I still sing every day. It's definitely my passion. You know, I was planning on singing um, Beauty and the Beast. Um, you know, my song is Mrs. Potts. I will revise the role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tale as old as time, true as it can be. Barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change, small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared, beauty and the beast. Oh, it's so beautiful <laughs> to get back into theater and share that I gift will. with us again. <laughs> <laughs> because that's truly a gift. Thank you. So I, I hope you do get back in the theater soon and I can see you on stage again. <laughs> <laughs> so any advice you would give our upcoming young actors? Keep doing it. Don't get discouraged. I feel like a lot of it, even I, like the older you get, you get a little like scared because it's almost like starting all over. And like I started when I was six years old and worked my way up. I was used to getting leads. Um, so starting now, I know I'm going to go back to being chorus and I'm not going to get the leads that I want. Um, but it's something I think you'll, you'll pr be prepared for. But I think the biggest thing is don't give up. Keep doing it. It's so good for your everyday life. Did you, did you find that it helped you in your job now? Every, I got, <laughs> I got hired at my job because my, uh, my manager specifically said, I hired you because you're so outgoing. And I knew you could read a script. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So sometimes our calls are scripted and it's, it's perfect because I'm the first off book. <laughs> and you're an actor. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Because I keep telling the kids, it's going to carry you throughout your whole life. No it, matter what you it do. It really on. does. Yeah. It's so good for everybody. And it really teaches you to be confident and not be afraid to talk to people. And I think that's the most important thing. You can't get anywhere without communication. Well, I'm so happy we got to catch up. Hannah, I, we've missed you so much at Wild Horse. Please come when we're on stage again. Come down and, and see us and, and watch a show and root our little ones on. Because I'd love of them course. to see our alumni come down and see our shows too. I know you're in Reno, but we're not that far away. That's, yeah, I'll go see Frozen. Great. Have to. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking your time out of your day today. And please say hi to the family for us. Because of course. when we miss you, we miss your family too, because they were always a part of Wild Horse too. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much, Hannah. Bye, Carol. Bye.